This is a TaxCast special feature from the Tax Justice Network. For more TaxCasts with news and analysis on tax havens and corruption services, go to www.tackletaxhavens.com. There are trillions of dollars washing through the world's tax havens. The UK and the US are the easiest way into tax haven paradise. On the TaxCast, the ABCs of opening companies, anonymously. My little nephew's got big plans to make lots and lots of money. A, B, C, C, L, M, L, A, P, Q. OK, OK, so he hasn't quite got his ABCs yet, but good news. Setting up his own company anonymously with an offshore bank account is child's play. First thing to do, simply go to your favourite search engine and type in that you want to form a UK company. I'm with Richard Murphy in central London, but we could just as well be in Timbuktu. So, having done that, I can immediately get hordes of companies who will offer me this service of incorporating my company for me. And if I just scroll down the page a little bit, £32 to form a private limited company using his own choice of name. OK, I think my nephew can put the money up for that. So I think we will have Raphael Enterprises. Well, Raphael Enterprises has to have its own registered office here, which obviously means that Mum and Dad might agree to share their address. And he's got to... Well, afford- actually, I think that he would like to do it secretly. He doesn't oh. really want Mum and Dad to, to know about his oh, uh, wow. now, business Raphael activities. Now, wants to do this in secret for Mum and Dad. A little discretion is available. This is going to cost Raphael more. £557. Well, you've got to speculate in order to accumulate. Indeed. Here we have a company that's saying that they will provide him with a nice address in central London where he can receive his post. He will have his registered office. Secrecy guaranteed. We don't know where he's really trading anymore. They're offering a lot more secrecy than that, though, for our £557. We can have a nominee director. So one of their staff will lend their name to be the director of this company. Raphael doesn't want to admit to even owning this company. We can have nominee shareholders. Nothing on public record now associates Raphael with the company he owns. The only thing about the UK is that he really doesn't want to pay much tax on his profits. So what can Raphael do about that? Well, it sounds like Raphael is um, a born criminal to me because a UK company must pay tax on its worldwide profits, in which case... He could have a bank account and he's being offered it here in various interesting locations. Panama, Gibraltar, Belize, Lithuania. St Nevis is on the list of options. One of the places that it is hardest to crack in the world where basically there is no information exchange, there's no regulation which is effective either. So Raphael can have all his profits and he can play with all his money as much as he likes, and it'll all be in the company name, which won't be traceable to him personally, which is good because if his mum and dad knew, he might get into trouble. Yes. If Raphael had the best Lego collection on earth, the mum began to suspect this wasn't coming out of his pocket money and decided to report him. How would the police identify what Raphael was doing? Because after all, there's no company which links him to it because he's used nominees everywhere. The only way we could get that link between Raphael, the company, the offshore bank account and the money he's hidden in Panama is because he's been careless about how he manages it on his computer in most cases. Good thing he manages his affairs on the computer at his nursery school. And there's more good news for Raphael. The British government doesn't think setting up companies anonymously is a problem, so they're not going to legislate for transparency. And even better, if he waits long enough and never files any tax returns, the registrar of companies may strike him off. That doesn't mean that the bank account suddenly ceases to exist. It's just now completely hidden from view, owned by a company that legally doesn't exist. Now that's truly the deep shadow economy, because they are legal (laughs) non-people. They don't exist. They're officially dead. So, long live Raphael Enterprises. No need to prove who the owner is. No need to prove who owns the offshore bank account. So take it away, Raphael. Now I know my ABC. Won't you come and sing with me? (laughs) 
You've been listening to a TaxCast special feature from the Tax Justice Network. For more TaxCasts, go to www.tackletaxhavens.com. For more information on the Tax Justice Network, go to www.taxjustice.net. We'll <laughs>